Chopping samples. We're going to concentrate on using recycle to chop up a drum loop and then export the slices so that we can use them in our door. The way recycle works is pretty much like any other time stretching tool. Basically, the audio is analyzed and sliced based on the sensitivity slider that we use, which is threshold based, and I'll explain that to you in a minute. Once we create our slices, we export the slices along with the MIDI file and also save the recs. And by having the MIDI file, we can use it as a song and substitute different drum sounds in there. We can use the Rex file to trigger everything. And on top of that, we can use all the audio slices. So let's start very basically with the left and right locator here. And the idea is that you move the left and right locator until you have the perfect loop. Let's play this. I've already done this for you. Right now you can see there is no information about the tempo or anything on this beat. The minute I plug in the number of bars that this beat is, it could be two, it could be four, it will find you the original beat. If I was to now put two bars in this, 93.848, to be honest, I think this was originally 94, but not important for now. Let me play the two beats for you. So now we know the tempo and we can use this to create our slices. The sensitivity slicer works on a threshold. Basically what that means is if I go to max here, the threshold is almost at zero, if not at zero, and it will detect any peak above that. These are what we call transients. And the highest value transients are called peak transients. Anything that stands as the highest peak is called a peak transient. So you drag the slider to move the threshold down. Right now the threshold is right up here. As I drag it down, slices start to appear. More and more slices, the lower the threshold drops. So far this is great. Let's assume that we're not happy with this. And let's say I want to create another slice, maybe this double here. You take the pencil tool and you draw in another slice. So now I can listen to this one and this. I can carry on drawing in slices or I can just drag this and let it do it for me. Once you set up all your slices. I'll leave this one alone as a double because that'd be funky. We get this. What can we do now? Well, let's look at it now. By pressing in preview toggle, our BPM is dropped into here, but the original is kept there. Now let's say I want to time stretch this and I want to go to say, I don't know, 80 BPM. I want you to hear what happens with the sensitivity slider set at 20 slices. It's quite good, but a little choppy. How can we improve that? More slices. The more slices you have, the better the time stretching algorithm can work. Think of it as resolution. As good as that is, you can hear this sort of crumbling effect. That's because we actually have too many slices now, and he's trying to play every slice. That cleaned it right up. What else can we do while we're here? We can select a gate. Let's see what happened, watch the audio. So I'm gating this. So I'm getting this choppy effect. I can alter the pitch. Adjust the gain. And 
And now we can start to enter the envelope shaper, the transient shaper, and the EQ sections. These aren't bad, to be honest. If you go to envelope, I want to take out all these harsh attack transients. So let me move this past the attack transients and just play the body. Decay is the same. Remember that the envelopes are working on each slice, not the whole loop. This just tidies things up and just, it's like fine tuning. Think of it like that. Now let's get into the transients. You can either use presets or create your own. You have a threshold, an amount, attack, and release. Now this is what happens when we start to get a bit funky. Makes it nice and grimy and fatter. Just enjoy yourself and play around with the process to you have an idea of what happens. EQ, self-explanatory really. Stop that. So what you can do actually is just select what you want and export that. We've now covered these basic tools, locking, muting, scrubbing, and so on and so on. We can have our display exhibit time, samples or beats, I leave it on time. We can go into any of the slices or the, the whole lot and normalize. And my recommendation is not to normalize individual slices because if we're going to use the MIDI file and the Rex file to trigger this beat again in our door, we want it to play at the levels that all these drum elements are at. We don't want everything playing at the same loud volume. You can crop the loop, which is what I do if I've got redundant bars or if I want to fine tune to get a really tight loop going. We can remove DC, which is really good if you're using, let's say, a turntable and you're sampling off that, you'll get a lot of amp noise and interference in there. DC offset will try and remove that, but it'll also balance the left and right, i.e. the symmetry of your waveform with some badly sampled sounds that come through current based systems. You'll find that sometimes you've got the top end and nothing at the bottom and so on. This does it all for you. Reanalyze is self-explanatory. As slices 16th is if you want to get into really intricate and finely defined editing. It's also good for creating funky effects, but we'll do that at another time. We are now left with the saving and the export. I always do this in two steps. I save, so I've got BB 94 BPM and it's saving my Rex file. I will now go and export as well. And it's going to ask me where I want to export the slices to and the MIDI file. Export MIDI file with the same name if you want it and I recommend that you do it with every loop you chop. No point changing to 24 bit because this drum loops in 16 so operates fine. Once you do this it's all done. Now I can go and open both the Rex file or individual slices. So I've got all the information I need here. There are other things we can do. We can magnify, we can fade out, we can fade back in, convert samples. We can dump this whole lot as one sample once we've time stretched it, if we don't want to then have the individual slices. It's quite a good thought out piece of software. And that's pretty much it. Very simple software, very effective. I'll show you how we can do this in the door as well.